What's up guys? So today we're spending a little bit of time in the garage. I'm finally getting a day off or at least a little bit of time off. I'm going to spend some time working on the CJ5 here. Uh, it's been quite a bit since I've been able to post any updates on it. And uh, we've got some new parts from Kaiser Willie's Auto Supply. Yeah, I got it. Sweet. See, we got actually two projects going on. We've got the Minion working on his 82 YZ60. Uh, we're looking forward to getting in some dune time next year, so he's going to get that thing up and ready to get the carb cleaned and uh, from there, but let's talk about the CJ5 really quick. I want to give you guys some updates, let you know about where we're at, what we are doing, and uh, we'll just kind of go from there. So anyways, like I mentioned before, we got some new parts in from Kaiser Willys Auto Supply. My goal with this Jeep is to try to keep it as stock as I possibly can. I mean, this thing's a survivor as far as I'm concerned. It still has the original Hurricane four-cylinder motor in it. I mean, it's it's been kind of a challenge for me because because I'm not familiar with the Hurricane four-cylinder, and I can't really find a whole heck of a lot of uh, information on them. Most everybody, when they take the CJ5s, they either you know, swap out in LS or whatever they want to do, but usually the Hurricane four cylinders get scrapped. So it has been a little bit of a challenge uh, trying to figure out what exactly I need with this. So that's where uh, Mike at Kaiser Willys Auto Supply has been like a blessing as far as I'm concerned. His experience is absolutely awesome. He's been great at being able to tell me parts that I may need and being able to help me out with some of these things. So one of the things that I wanted to do is I wanted to swap out the electronic fuel pump that is currently in it for the back, go back to the mechanical fuel pump. I want to get rid of all that unsightly everything. It just does not look good to me. I wanted to keep this thing stock. I'm not going to be doing any rock climbing. I'm not going to be bouncing the Jeep around. So to me, having the electronic fuel pump is pretty much pointless. Um, so I'm scrapping all of that out, going to put the, uh, the new fuel pump on there. I'll show you that here in a minute. Uh, we did get a new air horn, the new Solex carburetor, which is installed. We've got the new rubber hosing, uh, for the air horn to the oil bath. I'll show you that stuff here in a minute. And, uh, so yeah, that's about where we're at as far as parts wise, but let's take a look at this motor. So here we are. I'm going to kind of go over as far as what we've gotten, where we are at. Um, so here is the fuel pump that I took out. I'm scrapping this and I'm going to go with the new dual action fuel pump that I got from Kaiser Willys Auto Supply. Now this will also allow me to run the vacuum for my windshield wipers as well. And quite frankly, it just looks a lot better uh, than this old guy. All of these hoses that I show you here, I'm getting rid of all of this stuff. Like I said, I just don't like the way that it looks. I think it looks unsightly. Obviously, it didn't come back or come with the Jeep in 1966, so it's got to go. We're going to step around over here really quick. Actually, I can show you right here. So I'm going to move this. Here is the brand new Solex carburetor. We did get that installed. Uh, I'm going to get the air horn on that thing here in a little bit. And uh, then we've got the rubber hose, which is right here, that runs from the air horn to the oil bath, which I'll show you where the oil bath is and where I'm at on that. Here is my oil bath. Um, I'm going to go ahead. Oil. Yeah, yeah. When we took this off, there was like that much oil. That much oil. Uh, that should, it does have a fill line. If you look in here, it does have a fill line. Obviously, it did not reach that fill line. So we're going to clean that up a little bit. We're going to clean out this outer housing for the oil bath. And then we're going to be getting that installed as well. And then this. And yeah, we're going to be, Porter is working on his 82YZ60. Also yours. <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't matter. You're, you're going to ride it. He's looking forward to getting in some dune time next year. So we've got also some... also learning how to ride clutch. He is learning how to ride clutch. He is going to be in for a treat. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, now let's go back over here. 
Um, like I mentioned, guys, they've got some really weird things going on here. Obviously, you got six feet of battery cable. <laughs> uh, I'm going to be changing that out as well. I do not like the way that that looks. Uh, but here's the Solex carburetor, like I said before. So then you have the air horn, which is right here, mounts to the top. Uh, then you've got the hosing, which goes from your air horn into your oil bath. Now, one thing that we did find when I was putting all this back together and kind of doing a test fit with it is that the oil bath, you have a two and a half inch opening on my air horn, a two and three quarter inch opening on my rubber hosing, and you have a two inch opening on my oil bath. Does it add up? No, it doesn't. So somehow I'm going to try to get that to work out. They did, uh, they apparently they did some things back in the day that they did change some things around. Also, one of the things that I questioned and I did hit up uh, one of the guys on one of the Jeep forums that I'm a member of and he actually sent me a picture of his oil bath uh, from the 1966 Jeep CJ5 and it is quite different than the one that we have here. This is the mounting bracket that is on my Jeep currently for the oil bath. The oil bath that he has actually has a couple of tabs that are welded into the side here that actually mount to the firewall. Um, this one obviously does not. So I'm really questioning whether this is a factory oil bath or if that is one that was somehow added on at a later date, um, especially where obviously this is not a factory mounting bracket. This is something that somebody has fabricated up. It does work. It definitely does work. So I'm not gonna just scrap it and get rid of it. I'm gonna see if I can get this thing to work. Um, so yeah, that's kind of where we're at on that. Let's stick back over here to the, uh, to the fuel pump. All right, so I'm gonna try to show you. So that is where the fuel pump goes into. Obviously all of this hosing and stuff. The fuel hose back from here actually does not look, you know, I'm not gonna be able to get too much of it, guys. The fuel hosing does not look too bad. So I'm going to try to just keep the fuel hose that is already currently in it. I'm gonna hook it up to the new fuel pump and uh, get all of this thing installed, get all of this stuff ripped out. Um, like I said, not too bad to remove it. Two half inch nuts, or bolts I mean, I apologize, two half inch bolts, and it came right out. So it shouldn't be too too bad to get this thing reinstalled. Uh, I'm looking forward to getting rid of this guy and uh, getting this nice brand new one in there. So that's kind of where we're at on the Jeep build. Um, like I said, we haven't made a whole lot of progress, and I apologize about that. It's taking kind of one step at a time, just because it's really kind of difficult for me to find a lot of the information that I need to um, on this Jeep, on this motor. Yeah, I just so it's it's been a challenge. Now, I like I said, I want to thank Mike at Kaiser Willie's Auto Supply for all of the help that he's given us. He's been absolutely phenomenal as far as being able, he's been an encyclopedia uh, as far as I'm concerned, as far as getting these things, getting me the right answers, getting me the information that I need. And we're gonna move forward with this. Once I actually get this taken care of, get the fuel issue taken care of, then I'm gonna go into some of the wiring. I wanna clean up that, all the wiring that we see, that you've seen in here. I wanna clean a lot of that up and uh, just make it look decent presentable and hopefully we're going to have this thing running here fairly soon so anyways guys i truly appreciate everybody for tuning in checking out the video hopefully you guys will stay tuned with the actual build with the project um oh we've got the shop dogs in here there's the shop dog yeah there she is <laughs> but uh yeah i want to go ahead and sign off here but before i do please make sure you hit like subscribe down below all the links to kaiser willie's auto supply are also going to be below uh make sure you send them a shout out if you have any jeep needs classic jeep needs seriously they are your go-to place for any of your parts um 
But I, so I do want to give them a huge thank you. And again, thank you everybody for tuning in. Like, subscribe, share, whatever you got to do. Peace.